higher education headache could lead to a lot less college students come next fall. Yeah, families across the uh, here and across the country are still waiting to find out where things stand when it comes to financial aid. WLWT News 5 Todd Dykes has the latest on what one local college prep expert calls the FAFSA debacle. Well, finding the money to pay for college is no small task, and it doesn't help when there are complications, but that's currently the case because a plan to make the process simpler has backfired. So FAFSA is the number one way, in fact, really the only way that families get access to loans and grants for college. Red Barber says those loans and grants can be the deciding factor when a high school senior is deciding where to go to college. There are timelines based off families and universities understanding what money is available. And so usually families would know by the beginning of March or somewhere around there what money they would have access to for specific universities. And decision date is May 1st for most universities. But Barber, who runs a college testing company in Newport, says the word usually has been replaced by uncertainty. But it is causing a lot of tension for families where they're, they don't know what they have access to. The tension revolves around changes aimed at simplifying what's known as the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. The fixes have led to glitches that are now delaying when high school seniors and current college students, including many who attend UC, will find out what tuition assistance they may or may not get. And some students, maybe first generation college students who see this as a path to a, to a, a new life, to get into college and go after something, they're wondering if they're even going to have the money to do it still. And at this point in time, they should have be close to having that answer. Now, Barbara thinks most families will start learning their financial aid numbers in early April, but that'll shrink the window of time those families have to decide which college option makes the most sense based on what they can afford. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.